Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with World of Tanks. And it is a T110E4 kind of day. So let's go ahead and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I will probably lend my services to the flag. Just because more often than not, on this map, you end up getting out capped if you spend too much time looking at the forest. And uh, this thing behaves like a heavy tank, so I'll use it as such. Uh, one piece of artillery. Wait, 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 wait. Hit. Yes, that's what I like to see. I was hoping that he would sit still for that long. I thought he was going to move. It's always a gamble. Sometimes it's like, should you take the shot without, you know, waiting for the aim? Because he's going to move, or should you just... Ah, nuts. Yeah, he's not easy to hit right now because he's just back and forth. And I can't really... I can't really see him. Problem is I'm lit for artillery. Okay, E100. Let's go back up the IS-8. Man, we lost we lost the 183. The frack did he go? Not a fair trade. T49 for a 183. Mm, don't like that. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have gun depression from where he's at. Okay, E100. Yeah, heavy hitters over here. But we've got some backup of our own. Biggest issue, again, might be the artillery arcing a shot over this hill. Just don't really have a way to do anything over here. I mean, unless we charge this guy. Oh, he's fired. That might be our cue. Okay, you're going for that. If this guy's... Just, I just missed an opportunity there. I don't know if he's going to show himself again. Is, but they're letting me have it. I don't know if I want to waste the repair on that, although turret rotation is really bad right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite painful. C-75, where's he at? That's a building covering him up. Alright, let's go ahead and make our push back these gentlemen up. On the way, IS-8. Alright, he's almost done. Loading. I'm going to get into hill cover here. Come on, reload, you son of a gun. Nope. Alright, I'm going to repair this because this is really painful. And, yeah, we're not going to deal with a dead gunner. I was wanting to hold on to the kit for, you know, a worst case scenario, but went into the E-75. I suppose we could just hold this point now, although they've got a lot at our spawn. I think we're going to be taking fire from the six. Front's okay, but I'm just worried about anything that shows up from behind here. It's AMX. Gotcha. 
Okay. Yep, here they come. They're going to be charging us. As long as we're aware of it. 84. We've almost got the cap. Don't get hit. We don't want to get hit. We don't want it. Ah, guy got hit. And it reset a little bit. Turret wouldn't come around fast enough. Just go for the cap, guys. Don't get hit. Alright, we got it. We got it. Oops, too far forward. And, wow, it's still not ending for some reason. That was weird. I think, I don't know, something extended it there. That was strange. I think because somebody got hit after the fact? I'm not sure. Anyways, okay. Uh, fire for effect. Not too shabby, all things considered. I haven't played this tank to shore in a while. Uh, it is uh, definitely a uh, TD I don't regret grinding for. It's It's been a lot of fun. And uh, this match we managed to not go negative for once in this thing, which is always nice. But uh, I think with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and do one more match. Okay, round two. And we're going to head uphill here. Back up some of these other guys. A lot of light tanks moving this way for some reason. Usually lights go the other way. I'm not sure what this is about. Uh, IS-7 behind us. That's good. I've got some early spotting on their team. But they do as well. I was actually lit up on my way over here. It's funny, they've got light tanks up here, too. More so worried about all the vehicles they have down below, but if we can get this high ground... Uh, we've lost a bulldog. This guy's deciding that he doesn't want to be here anymore, as is this guy. Okay, well, thanks for nothing. Really sure why they came up here in the first place. Centurions backing up. Excuse me, coming through. I think we just need to bull rush this guy. He's done, but he put a round in me. Okay. And we get the guy around that corner. Yeah, I'm going to follow the IS-7. Back him up. We just need to charge this guy. Guarantee the shot. That's one way to do it. You set him up, I'll knock him down. Alright, let's keep going. I7 needs some repairs though. Tracks out, I think. Uh, we're losing quite a few tanks. Waffenträger, there, okay. I want to guarantee my shots here. There's already. Uh, IS-3 over here, though. That I want to take out. The Artie's not as big of a threat in a game where there's a lot of buildings. Enemy armor 
I'm gonna have to go back to base, I think. Unless we can get some of these gentlemen to uh, take care of the problem. That guy's in cover. Oh, this is not gonna be a great situation. Guns out. Well, I'm stuck. Unless somebody can back me up. Frack. Dang it. Well, we did pretty good there, but uh, sadly, we were unable to uh, take it. I think some of the team just didn't position themselves properly. You know, the funny thing is the artillery is still alive. I wonder what killed the IS-7. We could have killed the artillery, but the way I saw it, he wasn't a major threat. We needed to kill the uh, the tanks that were heading towards the base, so I decided to break off and, and go deal with uh, vehicles that were a bit more mobile, but the enemy team just outplayed ours, so there's nothing we could really do about that one. Uh, let's see. Fighter. How did we do there? Oh, first place. Not bad. Yeah, you know, once again, that that's one you can't be hard on yourself. Uh, team kind of just fell apart there. End of story. Simple as that. No profit, but we are tier 10, so that is to be expected. Anyways, the T-110E4. The American tank destroyer that, of course, plays like a heavy tank. And, you know, if I had to do it over again, I'm not sure that I would unlock the T-110E5, which is, of course, the actual American Heavy. It's a great tank. Don't get me wrong. It's fantastic. But I think I prefer the high alpha damage and intimidation factor of the E4. And when, when picking tanks, a lot of people don't think about gamer psychology. They don't think about the intimidating presence that a vehicle has, the effect that it has on a player's behavior. See, when you ride up with this, the enemy sees you, they think, uh-oh, that guy's gun can hit me for 600 to 700 something damage. I have to back up. You know, I have to pay more attention to my position. I have to get hauled down or I have to run away or call for backup. The only thing they know that might go against you is the fact that your reload time is not great. So once you fire, then they're gonna charge after you. But Really, when they see you, they're backing up. Or they're thinking twice about engaging you. And you don't have that intimidation factor with a lot of the vehicles in this game. And I like that. Plus, if you're with allies, then it's it's a winning situation. As you saw in the last match, we were backing up the IS-7. Which meant that we were uh, a double threat. And as long as you stick with other tanks that can support you while you're reloading, you're golden. Minor issue, turret doesn't do a full 360 degree rotation, but how often do you have your gun facing backwards? For me, it's a non-issue, but to each their own. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for joining me. It is always appreciated, and I will definitely see you on the next one.